Hello. Hello. Working on the trail. They put the eggs. We just we just moved them out of here. So they're, they're, just, having, they're having to fight that current. So it, yeah. but, uh, the more golden colors, they get larger. That's so cool. Well, I'm back up the Whitewater Canyon down here by Glenwood, New Mexico. I'm going to try to blast past all the tourist stuff and get up to the good, good holes this time and try to see if I can hook into something. So stay tuned. Let's do it. Well, just passed four young men and they said he caught four, so that's good to know. It'll be a miracle if I do because I ran off and forgot my tippet line. I'm running straight off about an eight pound liter, so hopefully the fish are stupid. There's my family. Hi. Hello. Hello. Photo op. Hey, Chase. I'll see y'all later. I'm heading up. Time to go convertible. A little wet. Ooh, this ain't Iowa. Ooh, I gotta get my goat legs back. That's like a good hole. I'm gonna keep going up. Awesome country. Blows me away every time I come here and I've been here a lot. Had a bite. Had a bite. Tight holes right here. Try it again. Fishing with a little bumblebee. The old slingshot action. Oh, nope, I'm gonna fall for it again. There's one in there. So all this southwest New Mexico, they've been trying to bring back the Tila trout, which was on the endangered species list for a long time, and they finally got it lifted. So uh, hopefully we we'll catch one. And all the butterflies. Awesome. 2013, a huge flood wiped this whole area out. I just talked to the conservation department, one of the workers. They're working on rebuilding the trail back the way it used to be. So that's cool. All right, let's see if we can pull up. Pulling out of this little hole. Maybe. Awesome. 
There they are. Working on the trail. Be a fun job. Well, I had one come up, flash, and kind of tap it. That's about it. I'm gonna head down to some lower holes, just work my way back. I wanna get in their work zone area. Gotta be careful walking these trails too, just because they're, they're populated. I've found a lot of big rattlesnakes on this trail over the years. It is wild ass country, folks. Awesome. I'm gonna try this hole again. I was up above and I'm pretty sure I saw a flash in there. Put more of a beadhead woolly booger on. It's that time of year here. Flying out. Come on. Got a stick. Got a stick. Good job. Lunker. Trash. In the city or in the woods. Help keep America friggin' looking good. Does my family. I don't know. Well, it's not looking good for the home team here. And there's getting to be more and more people. Yeah. So, got a couple big holes I'm gonna try to work. If they don't pan out, then we're out of here. Something. Tad sketchy. Ah. Let me get her though.
Folks, well, I gotta beat feet, meet up with the family. I'm gonna time thing here because I'm gonna stop by and visit the fish hatchery where they are starting to raise the Gila trout for this area. Man, look at that. It's mind blowing every time I come here. I've been coming here since I was like three. And every time it's just like, wow. Anyway, so stick around. I gotta find some water. All right, so we're gonna tour the fish hatchery. Come to find out, the guy that's running it now was our old neighbor when I was just a little tiny kid years and years ago. So this is gonna be fun. A year and a half ago, just now getting them all plumbed in. We had the fish I'm going to show you there. Alrighty. This is one of the original hatchery buildings. He's going to show us some of the fingering tanks. So we don't have any, we don't have any fish in here right now, but uh, we just moved them over to the other building. The contract grabs more than the other one. So oh, okay. we can split the water between this this side and that other side of the way. This is where they put the eggs. We just we just moved them out of here so okay. look, there's one fish left. Look, oh, there's a little tiny fella right there. I need to take him over with his yeah. the rest of them. But anyway, we uh, you guys can come look if you want. Little baby but anyway, trout. we just took all the little fish that size that were trying three or four thousand over to the other ducks. So if you didn't catch that, they built a new facility, and so they're changing everything over to that, and it's pretty impressive. So from now on, this hatchery will only be raising the Gila trout that was endangered for how many years? Uh, quite a few years. A long time. It's, uh, it's gone from the threatened list to the endangered to the threat. So it's been upgraded a little bit. But so still. They still need a lot of water. Yeah. And the feds is the one that usually do it for uh, but they're going to let us start raising stuff here. Oh, cool. There's the new facility. Oh, wow, this is going to be great. So when, uh, when we get that incubator that I just, these deals right here, once we're up and running, that's where this room, what this room will be. So this will be the, just this the incubator room. room right here, and that's all it'll be used for. And when we start doing our own fish, you know, we're not going to be able to raise a lot because Gila trout, we can only get eggs off them once a year in the spring. With mm -hmm. the rainbow trout that we used to raise, they would ship them in from Idaho okay. or Washington, either place. And so they can ship in 180,000 eggs every three months. Wow. So by light, by temperature and light, they could make these fish produce eggs just whenever they want it to. But we won't be able to do that. We'll just get them in the spring. So mm -hmm. this will be a one-time shot in the spring. And be, uh, it used to be in that other building. Now once those hatch, this is where they go as like fingerlings or smaller uh, yet, or? There's another new form of fish that we have from one of the other. These are, yeah. these fish here we hatched about, um, uh, maybe six weeks ago. These are about six weeks old. Uh, the, these are little baby healers. You can see that if they're in really good condition, you look at their bellies, they're fat. Yeah. 
Some of them are kind of skinny. They don't eat as well as others. Yeah, that one's a fat one down there. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. And you can see they grow at all different ages. This is all the same age of fish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're, some of them eat better, some of them don't. The Gila trout are real wild. So when we feed them, we have to just sprinkle the feed on and uh, just takes a little bit. We'll just sprinkle a little bit more than that on. And then we gotta cover it because they won't eat if they see you out here. There's a couple of brave ones. There's one up there. Yeah. The rainbow trout, even at this age, they would see a person come up and they would all swim forward to you. And those are the ones the hatchers have been to are oh, like that. They're like that. They feed oh, trees. Oh, you just walk they... past them and they... Very, yeah. very domesticated by now. Right, exactly. Yeah. And that's why as you can see they're just, oh, just yeah. a tiny bit smaller. See those two dark colored wings? They're not eating well. They probably won't make it. Yeah. These two right here. You can definitely see the yellowish color in those ones. Mm -hmm. Pretty neat. Between these and those, see how they're, the water's going in. Yeah. Like yeah. And they're, and they're, having just... to, they're having to fight that current. So it, yeah. You know, it's training them to. So he's saying they do better in these round takes to get stronger because they're constantly fighting the current rather than the rectangular boxes it is. The thing is a combination of these and those others and you know, they get favorable for them to use. Yeah, big fat. Yeah, so these are, uh, we got these last about in the fall. They were probably so three inch happened. fish. Yeah. They're probably about six to eight so they're, now. They're about six to eight now. Yeah. A rainbow trout, we can get to stockable size to nine to ten, to ten inches in a year. These are probably a year and a half. Oh, so. really? Wow. I'd stick my camera in there, but I don't want to infect the water. You might. <laughs> you can see him. Oh, he's going to catch one, of course. How about that? Thank you. So these already are... They'll get a lot uh, more golden color as they get larger. That's so cool. See how those two on the right, the, the bigger ones are more of a golden color. Yeah. And the little one, he's still not hadn't developed that color. Well, that is pretty cool. And these are all the same age fish right here. They just, uh, some eat better than others. You know, they grow faster. Just like people. Yeah. Some of them eat better than others. Yeah. <laughs> and these round tanks are the same uh, age. Okay. All right, folks. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, either though, even though I didn't catch any fish, but I sure enjoyed getting a tour of the fish hatchery with Walt. We go way back, our families do, so that was even extra special, plus I love fish hatcheries. So There's a little bit about Gila trout, very, very uh, fragile species. But uh, so buy your fishing license, do what you can. That'll help them build a better hatchery for us to enjoy later. Hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for the next one. Talk to you later. Hi, Yanni. <laughs> we had to take him out of the mountains for a minute. Yeah, Sonic.